we are back to our main rounds. We're going to make sure we clear all of these tokens for utilizing and now we're going to go. Um, I think we're going to move. So here's going to be, yeah, here, oh, do we have, yeah, here's what we're going to do. So first we're going to start with Gavin, lead by example. All right, we're going to move up to three spaces and attack. Um, before rolling the dice for the test, you may discard one inspiration to reduce the target's defense by one. Um, and then we can gain one inspiration and an armor token if we have Earth. So that's what we're going to shoot for. You can see that. Um, there we go. That's what we're going to shoot for. So one, two, oh, see, I wanted to try to get beside that at the end, ultimately. I guess he's going to move one, two, three, so at least he can get close. Um, and he's going to attack, I guess he's going to attack the blue one, might as well. Um, before rolling the die for this test, you may discard one inspiration to reduce the target's defense by one. Uh, might as well. So this is all going to go through whatever damage we do. Um, it is a two dice attack. So he's going to use one of those supply to make it three dice. All right, so here we go. Let's see what happens. Wow, that is absolutely horrendous. Um, he's going to spend the two inspiration to make that three. So uh, the blue Ragak is going to take three damage. He's going to get those two focus back. That should have been so much better. Um, then he's going to go ahead and use his melody token to activate the bottom, which is gaining inspiration and an armor token. So this goes away, and he gains an inspiration, uh, an inspiration, oh gosh, and an armor token. So there's the inspiration armor token. They're going to go on his card, and that was an action. So he now has dooby dooby doop, five my dust, two actions left. And this card goes away to the discard. So his next action is going to be to play this Valiant Stand. Each hero may discard one inspiration to change one altar die. Uh, don't think we're going to do that yet. Uh, then you may discard one inspiration to attack. So he is going to do that. And remember, he's got a three on there, that red. And it does require um, water. So, I'm going to set these off to the side. So, we are going to be able to use that uh, to activate that when it comes time. So, he's going to do three attack. Uh, I hate to use this supply already, but I'm going to go ahead and use this supply to make it four dice. Just because I think we really need to try to burn at least one of these guys down pretty quick. Alright, uh, so there's one, two, three, four... We can make it five with that focus. So that's going to be five damage. Um, it does have one defense, so that's four. Um, but it has three damage on it already. Three and four is seven. So that does take out um, the blue minion. Yay. So this guy, out of here. And because we defeated him, we get a supply. So we don't have two, but that's okay. I'll take one. Um, Ocus goes away because we used it to do the damage. Cool. Um, now we're going to use the wa uh, water, deal one damage to an enemy within range. Well, this guy's gone, but this guy is in range. So we're going to go ahead and put a damage on the green uh, Ragak, which is good because he's the one with armor. We're going to re-roll that into the pool. That's what we get. So now we have Earth in the pool. Uh, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to actually use that Earth and the fire. 
Let's go to the hero board so you can see what we're doing with these guys. All right, so the earth and the fire. So we're going to use the earth to inspire leadership. A hero with a range gains and inspiration. And then the sword of Ulrich. Deal one damage to an enemy within range. We're going to use that there. So that's going to mean Ulrich gets a second inspiration token. And one damage goes to the green... Uh, the green, oh, well, that's yellow. The green enemy is way up here. And we're going to reroll both of these. And not a bad, not a bad round, I think. We're rerolling both of these. Wow, two more water. Okay. Um, he still has an action left, I think. Unless I've screwed something up. So I guess he'll just do a regular attack with his sword. Regular three dice attack um, against the green one. And what do we got? All right, so we have a success, a crit. Let's roll the crit. Oh, great, another focus. So that's one, two, three successes. You can use both focus to make it five successes and give that guy four damage. Because that's four, that'll give him five total damage. I only need two to kill him. So we have, we're going to use both of these focus. To make that five total hits. Boom, boom, boom. Which becomes four hits uh, because of the armor on uh, the Ragok currently. That's a total of five damage though, so that's good. That's good. And that will complete Gavin's turn, and he's going to draw a card. The card he draws is Devoted Leader. Uh, we actually already have a copy of that card, but that's cool. Willow is next. First thing she's gonna do, she's gonna use her, she's gonna use her one of her melody tokens, one of the two, to put one damage on the yellow Raglander. So that's two damage out of seven on him. Yep, yeah, she's gonna play battle him. So this is gonna be an attack. Ooh, it's a little closer. You see. Uh, before this attack, you may discard one melody token from any card to add plus one to this attack. Um, and I, so I think she's going to take that melody token off of that Raglander, um, the green one, so she can keep one on her uh, to add plus one to that die. So that's going to be her, uh, that's two dice normally, so that's three dice. And that's going to come off. And I think we're going to go ahead and spin that supply that we've got to add a fourth one just because um, the yellow does have two. Yeah, it does have two armor effectively. So uh, we're going to do that. And then we do have darkness in the pool. So we will be able to uh, either move up to three spaces or deal a damage to an enemy within range. Don't know which one of those two we're going to do, but let's see what she rolls first. Um, okay, so we have two successes, three successes, two focus. There is a crit burst there. Oh, gosh, that was a success. So that's one, two, three, four successes. We could make it five successes. We probably should make it five successes with her focus token. So that's five, um, five successes, four because of the armor, three because of the armor token that is on him currently. So he's going to take three damage, which is going to give him a total of five damage. Then we're going to, oh yeah, so I think that being the case, we're going to go ahead and exhaust this to do another damage to him. So we're going to roll this into the pool. We got wind. All right, get these out of the way. We got wind into the pool. So now I think she's gonna go ahead and use that wind. I think, actually I'm gonna leave him there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave there. She's gonna go ahead and exhaust this wind that we just got to add a melody token. She's gonna add it to herself. Then she's going to use another action, with one action to move. 
So it's going to be one, two, three. Um, then she's then then she's going to use another her last action to move. One, two, three. Or actually three. That's what she's going to do. All right, that's her action. She's going to draw a card. She's going to get oh, inspiring chorus. We've seen this. Cool. So that is the second round done. Hero turns are completed. We're going to the threat turn. So let's start with Gavin. Uh, he's got the yellow. It's going to engage. Uh, can it get one, two, three, four, five? Yep, it can get there. So one, two, three, four, five. It's going to attack Gavin with a five red. Um, so he's got, remember, that is his best stat. Okay. So that's only two, though. Minus one for his armor. That's three, so he's going to take two damage. One, two damage. I don't have any focus tokens. Oh, no, sorry. He does have an armor token, so he's going to only take one damage for a total of two. But he's going to gain two focus, so that's a plus. That takes care of that. Then the trough is going to activate each minion threat. Oh, wait a minute. I did not do the Raglander thing again, the resist keep forgetting that uh activate before each character in its room okay nobody was there so it doesn't matter uh the trough's gonna activate threat token on everybody each hero with no minion threat card in their area that does not affect anybody now the green activates it is going to actually would move back one i think and then it's going to attack. Hmm. If it attacks, I guess we get to choose. It's going to attack Gavin. He's got three dice. Come on, Gavin. Block like a... Uh, okay. Uh, he can use one to make that three successes, plus his armor's four, so he'll only take one more. It's a total of three. Okay, cool. Um, then if there was earth, there is no earth in the pool. Threat turn is over. Now we do the villain turn. Uh, each year must either discard an armor token. Nobody has it. Or they have to do a resist three check with their blue stat, which is two for both of them. We'll start with Gavin. Uh, that is two. He's going to take one to get another focus. I rolled too many dice. Two dice. Resist three. Okay. So this is Gavin's. One, two, three. Now we're just rolling for focus. Four, so he passes that. For Willow. Two. Does not have a focus. So we'll take one. Because this is a resist. And gain a focus. Uh, there is no armor. I mean, sorry, no earth, so no armor tokens. Um, now we go to draw the card for Gert. Each year must either discard one supply. Oh, Trail of Refuse. Discard one supply or do a resist for their green stat. Okay, well, there is no supply, so we're resisting four. Start with Willow this time. She's got two dice. That is missing two, so she's going to take two damage. Yikes. <laughs> uh, Gavin only has one. Okay, there's a crit. Come on, come on. Okay, so that's two. So he also takes two damage. That is the villain turn. Quest turn. Uh, nobody controls a clue card, uh, so nothing happens. The altar goes. We have to roll all nine dark, which is, again, four. 
Uh, there we go. Okay, so we got a couple of useful ones for us now. I like that. And then we're going to use the Mysterious Stone, Cancer and Altar effect. The Altar die is still rolled. I think I missed that the other time around, so we're going to reroll that. Okay. Activate the coffin. Nothing happens in the coffin room. Oh, wow. Knocked the coffin all over the place. Uh, nobody's adjacent. In here, uh, a, a, a hero adjacent to this feature may deal one damage. So the question is... We could do one damage to the yellow and kill it, or we can do one damage to the green and put it at six, which I think that's what we're going to do. So that is everything. So now we flip our card back over, and we unexhaust everything that we've exhausted, and we're ready to begin the next round. So what I'm thinking this round is we really probably need to be searching. And I may, I think maybe we're going to go out and around, like, further down because we can get through, we got one directly to the north, but we could get through two, three, four more rooms relatively close to where we started. And maybe hit that. And here on the way back to get rid of that trap if we absolutely had to. Because remember, we just have to find two clues and be back on the stairs. That's what triggers the end of this. My understanding is if that card doesn't say defeat the villain, I don't think we have to defeat the villain. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna need to search. I think I'm gonna need to open up a room is what's gonna have to happen. Because if I don't and we kill both of these um, these guys, then this trap's going to fire, and we're going to still have ones to deal with. So that being said, Willow's going to go first. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, Willow's going to go first. We're going to play this card. This is actually uh, this is an action, so let's go ahead and boop, lop her down to two there. So this is an action, all right? And this is a search action. And it's using uh, two dice. Uh, the search, gain plus one for this test if you have at least one melody token on your character card, which we do, so it's going to be a three dice test. And then we can do something with fire, which we're going to use a melody token for to gain a supply um, token. Now, the way these search cards work, the dog is trying to tell me that this is a good idea. He loves, he, he approves this option. Um, the search is going to actually, whatever the feature is in the room, so in this case, the uh, weapon rack, the search is going to happen, and that is where the progress token is going to go. So let's roll it up and see what we find. All right, here we go. Three dice for the search. Oh, that's it? Okay, well, so we're going to place one progress token, or not progress token, one search token on the quest rack. That's one success means we get a search card, and the search card is going to be, uh, draw a lurker card and discard this card. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, uh, werewolf. Okay. I guess that goes on, uh... Willow there, so we'll put that over there with Willow. Uh, it's going to spawn in the dark space closest to the hero, so it's going to spawn right there. But there was three successes, so that means we do gain two supply. So we can always use supply. Put them back here. So second action... Uh, discard a wind, but we don't have wind, so we're going to use a melody token for wind to do a damage to an enemy within range that ranges five. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and take out the green Ragak cannibal. So he's going away, and of course, remember when a minion is defeated, we get another supply. So, boom, there's just another supply. That was just an exhaust. So that's still not an action. Place a melody token on a hero. 
Yeah, she's going to do that. She's going to use an action. And I'll show you why here in a second. I've got a, I've got a plan. We'll see if it comes together. Two dice. We're not going to use our supply. So we just need to do one damage to the ragged cannonball. She does have at least one focus. So we're kind of banking on... Wow. No, that's what we needed. Okay. She's going to have to use a focus to make that two damage. That is enough to kill the other yellow ragak. And that is another supply. So we got the supply train going. We like the supply train. Interesting. The tokens are a little bit, are much less bright in one of those. One of those is probably from the expansion. Our next action, I think, is going to be Inspiring Chorus. So she's going to play... Oh, wait, this goes away. Let me get these out of the way. Uh, oh, and she's going to use... Oh, she doesn't have fire. Actually, she is going to use... She's going to use that um, melody token to gain another supply. Now, I feel like I have read and seen comments about maximum supply and focus. They're in the book. On page 20 of the rule book specifically states that there's a max of five focus. There is not anywhere that I have seen that states a max of five supply. Um, so maybe that's a house rule that people thought, but I don't see that anywhere in the rules. So I'm going with you can have as many supplies as you need. Uh, so that's, yeah, that's what I'm going for. Um, she is going to use Inspiring Chorus next. Choose a hero within range. That hero may move up to three spaces and gain a melody token. Well, she's going to move. She's just going to move here. This is an action, so this will be her last action, by the way. Uh, she's going to go there, and she's going to gain that melody token back, which is why I did that. But then we're going to use this from the altar pool, and that is going to each hero within range, which they obviously both are, gains one armor token. We're going to roll this. We have some more wind. They both, since this is why I did it, gain an armor token. The card is spent. Now, as a free action, she can reveal a rune. So she is going to go ahead and, boom, reveal the next rune. And what are we going to have? The feature in the room is going to be... Ooh, a locked chest. Action, a hero adjacent to this feature may place one search token on this card to draw a search card. Oh, wow. Interact, search of each supply gained during this test. Reveal one search card, then choose one to keep and shuffle the rest. So, pretty good loot here. So, let's find that mini. It's going to go over here. And this chest is going to go right there behind... Uh, so there you go. That's where it's at. Um, she's out of actions, but that was the feature reveal. So now we do search card. When reveal, attach this card to the room's feature card, then roll all dice. Oh, swirling mist. Someone or something doesn't want you finding what you're after. An arcade shroud hangs heavier and heavier, and now visible mist coalesce around you, trying desperately to sway you from your calls. You know if you're on the right path when such resistance is blocking your path. Now it's just a matter of enduring the mythical tricks thrown up against you. Uh, so we attach this, and we roll everything in the pool. Mm, that kind of sucks. That could be either really good or really bad for us. Let's see what we got. Uh, okay, we've got some Oh, okay. Uh, now we got to draw threats. So Willow will get the first threat. A Raglan Burner. Okay, the blue Raglan Burner. Six health, one armor. Uh, attack of range of five. Wolf, a movement of four. Uh, oh, there's another inflict with Earth, so yikes. All right, that's going to go to her. That's going to happen right here. Uh, second Raglander event. Curious Odor. This is going to go to Gavin. Put this in your threat area. Ooh, come on, focus. 
Focus. Focus. Uh, interact. Activate each minion threat card in your threat area. Gains a threat token. Uh, and we may potentially have to draw more threat cards. So that's not cool. So that takes care of her turn. And of course, at the end of her turn, she's going to draw a card. She gets Lingering Melody. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's going to let us move with water, and we can move and heal if we need to. Um, all right. So, speaking of Gavin, it is now Gavin's turn. So, let's just go ahead and use what we got. So, he's going to use this. Uh, let's just go to the player. Yeah, we'll just we'll just see. So basically, at this point, um, I don't know where this left off, but I'll go back a little bit. Um, I had uh, we kind of cleaned out some of the enemies. Uh, Willow was able to to open up a new room and took her turn. Um, basically, got rid of a couple things. Uh, did a search uh, that got us a lurker, which was. Absolutely horrendous. Um, and so Gavin has just started his turn. Um, he did gain uh, Curious Odor, so he's got a, an event that's in his threat area. It's not a minion. It's just an event. So we are going to need to deal with that um, on his turn. So that's where we're at. So let's go to his area because I've got a couple things I think he's going to be able to do. So the first thing we're going to do, he's going to use is uh, inspiring leadership and that's going to let him choose a hero within range to get an inspiration and he's going to use his luminary pendant to each hero gains an inspiration so for the luminary pendant that is a each hero within range so he and willow are going to gain those so that takes care of that we'll roll that in a second and then for the earth uh, we're going to have Willow gain that one. So they both have three inspiration tokens each. All right, we're going to roll these. Boom, boom, boom. We get, ooh, dark and wind, which don't really help us. I need him to be beside this uh, this feature because we've got to start getting those clues. Yeah, so he's going to play a lot of Illumination. This is a action card. I would love to have this, leave this on him, uh, but I'm not going to get to. I think it's more important to this. So we can discard an inspiration to move it up to two spaces away and perform an action. So he's just going to move one space away. Uh, and then we can exhaust this because we have fire. Um, to discard an inspiration to heal a damage, or I can gain an inspiration, well, uh, we might as well use that to heal damage because he does have a bit of damage on him. So, uh, that is, like I said, an action, so that's going to put him down to two actions. And we're going to use fire to make that happen. Uh, right, so his action is he's going to interact uh, with the chest. Now, he only has one in that ability, but there are no search tokens on that chest, so that's okay. So, that's what he rolled. <sighs> so, he's going to use his focus to make that a success. So, he can draw a search card. I was hoping that would be a lot better. He finds a potion of charisma. Which really, you should probably give this to. You probably should give this to Willow if you can. For rolling the die on your charisma test, add plus two dice to that test. Yeah, because she's handing out melody tokens. That is. That's something. Um, okay. And then the fire, uh, he's going to discard one inspiration token here to remove one damage. So there's those tokens. You know what he can do? He's going to discard. We've got so much supply. We're going to discard two of our supply to heal all four damage. So he is completely healed. 
And that's an action to do each one of those. So that is all three of his actions. And we do have to roll this. We got some light. Cool. And that's the end of his turn. So we're going to draw a card. We get another lead by example. We've seen that. There's the card. And everybody has gone. So now is happy, happy fun times. This is the part of the story where everything fights back. All right, threat turn. So let's go with him. Uh, his activate his curious odor. Uh, activate each minion threat card in your... Oh, should I have done that? Just done that test twice. Yeah, I probably should have. We're gonna we're gonna go back. I forgot I forgot about that card. He's gonna take that four damage back. So I really need to complete that. I think that's gonna be more important than the damage because it's gonna make us draw a threat card. So he's gonna do a task. It's a task one. So. Let's look at his area. So it's this card. Now that task one um, means we're going to do the task test, which is going to be two dice for him. Then we subtract one from our result. So if we roll two dice and we got two successes, only one of those count as progress. Um, so hopefully we can we can do well. So let's go back to the board here. First action is going to be his first test. All right, so that's only one progress. That sucks. Really want to get rid of this. We remember we need three. Uh, this next one, he is going to use a supply on. He probably should have done that the first time to get a third die. Oh, gosh. Uh, wow. Wow. Where were you the first roll? Jeez. Uh, that's two successes and a first. Four successes. That is enough on its own to get rid of the card. Wow. And it is an event, which means we do not get a supply. All right. But we got it out of the way. So now let's go back. And we're going to activate all of the cards. And actually, because of that, now there's no cards left uh, in Ulrich. So it's all going to be Willow. Uh, the Feeding Trough. It's going to activate each minion threat card gains a threat token. Now, wow, okay. Actually, that werewolf says minion, so... It, they both get one. Each hero with a no minion threat card in their threat area draws a threat card. So Oryx going to draw a threat card, and he's going to get the green raglan burner. The green raglan burner. Where are you at, Mr. Green? It is going to spawn... Uh, on the board, we'll see that in a second. Um, and then we're going to have the werewolf go and the blue raglan burner go. The green one will not activate because this is the turn it was summoned. So you can see the green now is here. Wolf is going to engage and inflict five. It's going to engage the closest. So it's going to go here. It's going to inflict five on um, Willow, and she has one die for that. Wow. Uh, it's an inflict, not a resist, so she can use a supply for two dice. Let's see what she gets. All right, so that's going to be, she's taking three, minus one for the armor, two, Minus one for the armor token, one. All right, so that's not terrible. But 
because of this being in the pool, uh, it's going to each hero must do a resist test of four against blue. We'll go ahead and roll that. It's going to become win. They both have two in that stat, so we'll start with Willow. All right, so that's ooh, two successes and a focus. That is two successes. Boom. Um, and that is a resist, so can't block it. So she's going to take two more damage and gain a focus. Gavin is going to roll two. He's going to get a burst, a focus, and two successes and two focus. He does not have any focus to spend, so he's going to get his two focus, and he is going to take two more damage. Two, three, four. That puts him at six out of 12, which is not good. And probably even worse is Willow is at one, two, three, four, five, six out of 10 damage. So, uh, Lucy's got some splaining to do, as they say. Uh, that's the threat turn. The villain turn happens. Each hero must either discard an armor token or do a resist test. Gavin does have an armor token. Willow does not. Willow's going to do a resist test. Three, using two dice. So that's one, two. Uh, going to use the focus to pass that resist test. So no damage there. Um, we do have Earth still in the pool. So the effect is going to fire, and each minion is going to gain an armor token because it wasn't hard enough already. So everybody gets an armor token. And we're going to roll that. Let's see what we roll. Oh, we rolled armor again. Okay. Um, then we're going to draw a the Gert card. A pungent aura. Oh my. Each hero must test three the moon. Each hero who fails must either discard a supply or suffer a damage. Well, we have a few supply. A few supply. Hopefully we can pass this. <sighs> and they both have two for this test. So we're going to try Willow first. Okay, there's two successes. Three successes and two focus, which is awesome. So she's definitely needed some focus there. Uh, so that's a pass with three. Gavin. Roll one, two. One, two. He'll spend a third. I focus to make that three successes. So we do not have to discard any supply. Awesome. Uh, now we go to the quest step. The altar activates, rerolls everything because none of it is dark. Wow. Lots of light, a little wind, and some dark. Uh, actually, let's pop that over here. A little bit easier for you to see. Um, okay. Uh, coffin activates, nobody's in the room, nobody's adjacent. The weapon rack activates. A hero adjacent to this feature may deal one damage to an enemy in this room. So we could do a damage to anybody in this room. And actually, you know what? This guy's not even supposed to be here. I forgot to take him off the board. Uh, I mean, I feel like probably the bigger threat, honestly, is the burner. Just because he's got a range of five, I mean, he can just sit there and throw crap. So I'm going to put a damage on him. Um, a, a hero adjacent to the attached feature may draw a card from the clue deck. And so he is going to do that. So he's going to draw the first card from the clue deck. So Gavin gets half scroll. When revealed, a hero may take control of this card. Cool. And now you see the bottom there says, when adjacent to the altar... You may discard this card along with a matching copy of Half Scroll 
place one quest token on the quest rules card. So we do have to find the altar. But if we can get the other copy of this um, half scroll, that would be great. And this other card gets discarded. 